have you ever felt like manifesting your special person is just out of reach? Like everybody else has their perfect person, but not you. Well, I'm here to tell you that not only is it possible for you, but by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to do to manifest new love seemingly out of thin air. So the first step and the most important step is actually liking yourself. And I know you've heard it before, but hear me out. If you don't actually like who you are as a person, how can you expect anybody else to want to be around that person? And there's only so long that you can fake liking yourself because we can go one month, two months, putting on this front, three months, four months, then the real us comes out. You can't hide it for too long. And so you really cannot fake the funk with this. And how do you do that? So just take a second and comment down below. I am enveloped by love now. Everything we do on this channel is about doing that. Falling madly and deeply in love with yourself where you don't care what's going on around you because you know how amazing you are. And it's a privilege to be with somebody like you. And so if it takes six months or if it takes a year, it doesn't matter. In your mind, you're having fun. You're enjoying your life. You're not looking outside. When is it gonna come? when is that person going to show it doesn't matter because you enjoy your life like I can have fun walking to the coffee shop being by myself 24 hours a day seven days a week it doesn't matter to me you have to get good at being alone good at being self-validating like if you call me ugly or you call me beautiful it doesn't move me I don't care it doesn't matter your opinion has no effect on me and that's the level that you want to get to where it doesn't matter what someone says it doesn't matter how someone thinks of you because you think so highly of yourself that you're completely unshakable. You know that you're lovable. You know that you're one of one. You know that you're always chosen. You know that anyone would be lucky to have you. And you, you don't fake this. You do this through repetition. You fall madly, deeply in love with yourself like your life depends on it because it really does. It, it seeps out into every area of your life. And then also you don't tolerate any shit when that person does come in or when a person does come in. Like before I did manifest someone new into my life, I was obviously in talking stages with a few people, nothing serious because my cutoff game is so severe. You will get blocked. Like, what do you mean? You're texting me at 12 o'clock like, yo babes, are you up? Yeah, I'm up, up and away, away from you, Habibi, goodbye. You have to be so strong in your standards. If someone texts you at 2 a.m. and you're excited by that. Like, what are you believing about yourself in that moment that you're tolerating that behavior, that you're engaging and enabling that behavior? That's someone that doesn't like themselves, that doesn't approve of themselves. When you truly are self-validating, completely confident in yourself and what you bring to the table, when you know that you are the fucking table, nobody can come and just take pieces of you. Your energy is too precious for that. You are too valuable to be giving away parts of you and especially women we literally give life and we have a very limited time to do that okay unfortunately men can have children until they're 100 years old women cannot do that we do not have that privilege right maybe 50 maybe 60 max but you really have a limited time and so when you are spending your time engaging in these conversations with these people that do not deserve the dirt off your shoe. What are you saying about yourself, about the children that you're gonna bring into this world, about children that you may already have, that you don't approve of yourself, that you don't like yourself, that you don't value yourself. So it's really important that as a woman, the man that you are attracting, he is better than you in every way so that you can respect him, so that you can surrender to him and you know submit yourself to him because a woman in love will do that she will give you her entire world look at look at Nora Smith she is chopping down trees to create paper for her husband I mean not literally but you know what I mean she she is completely in her feminine she has no stress she is fully taken care of and she fully provides this magical beautiful soft life for her husband and her children that's what a woman will do who's in love. She will give you every last bit of her. And so if you are giving every last bit of you to these densies <laughs> that don't deserve that, you're going to be depleted. And then what? And so when you like yourself, you do not engage in that behavior. And this brings me on to the next point of who is this person? Like really sit down and think about not just who this person might look like or whatever but how he makes you feel or she makes you feel what kind of things she does for you what does she 
by you? What does she look like? What does she, how, how, what are her family values? You really want to be writing all of this down and getting a very clear understanding about the type of person that you are drawing into your life. Because if you're completely mindless and you're accepting a text message from Tom, Dick and Harry, like it's a privilege to even have your number. What do you mean you're then going to violate that privilege? It's unacceptable to me. And it has to be unacceptable to you. Your standards have to be so high. So when you have complete clarity on who this person is and how this person makes you feel and what this person does and what this person brings to the table, then you know you can go, you can stay. You then have a very clear understanding of how to navigate the dating space if you are dating. And also you don't have to be on these apps and social media sites. Like you can create magic out of nothing out of thin air, but you need to relax. Because if you're in the state of, okay, I'm the dream girl that has it all, I'm the dream man that has it all, I'm looking to be a husband, I'm looking to be the best husband to my wife, I'm looking to be the best wife to my man, and you know that in your heart, who is worthy of that place in your life will find you. We're all connected. So they will be magnetized to you. And so in that space of, you know, the uncertainty I guess or in the space of when it's unfolding there's nothing really to do except from continuing to script and journal about the type of person that you are drawing in and so one thing that I did when I was drawing a new person in first of all guys I'm relaxed okay being with me is a privilege and that's not because of any other reason but how I feel about myself so I don't need to be texting anyone or anything, dealing with anyone or anything that makes me feel any type of way other than amazing. So it's, I'm very clear on my standards, right? So when I'm drawing someone in, I'm relaxed. I'm not, oh, is this the person? Is this the person? When is it? <laughs> I don't care, okay? Not in that desperate state of, oh my God, I need you to fulfill me. I need you to complete me. I'm, f I'm complete, I'm good. My table is set, baby. What are you bringing to my table? So when you're in that state of knowing, knowing, and you get that knowing through repetition and everything else we talk about on this channel, you can write love letters addressing yourself from this person's point of view, from this brand new person's point of view. And they would basically express their love for you, how proud of you they are, how you make them feel, how they love giving you the world, how they love achieving with you and you know going to the ends of the earth and all of this stuff and how you are the only one for them. You'll write everything down in this letter. And I think I did this like a few times. Like really, I'm not doing this every day. You just read it once, okay, let it go. And then when that time of wavering comes, like, oh my God, I'm by myself. Like, I would love to go on a date night. There's no one to go on a date night with, whatever. Those feelings of inadequacy and insecurity, I would then go general in my journal. So I would say things like, love feels familiar to me. Love feels natural and safe to me. I love being enveloped by love. I love being loved and I love giving love. It feels safe to surrender to love. I accept love and I am love. I feel closer to love and closer to God every day. I love accepting love and I love love. Love loves me. I feel safe to trust love. I can sustain beautiful, healthy relationships. I know how to retain beautiful things. Guys, there's nothing in here about a new person. It's all about me, the type of person that I am, the type of person that I want to attract will align with this concept of myself. And so when you're going really specific and you're feeling that dis-ease in your body, in your mind, you, it's just go general. Okay, who am I? Okay, love feels familiar to me. It feels natural, it feels safe. I love being in calm and safe relationships. I am deserving of beautiful things and I can maintain beautiful things. I respect myself tolerate no bullshit like you really want to be seeing that in your mind so that when you go out into the world and you are dating for example you're not like okay so like what are we <laughs> after like 20 minutes you know like okay so you want kids like how many kids should we start like now you know like it's too much like relax okay you want to go out okay cool why should I go out with you you know like it's that kind of energy why would I go out with you what are you going to add to my life because I know what I'm adding to someone else's life if you don't even know what you're adding to someone else's life, how can you expect to be taken seriously when someone comes into your life? You're just like, please love me, love yourself. And then it will be reciprocated. 
from whoever comes in. And you love when you are getting to know someone, when it's so much fun, when you're dating and going out and going traveling and just, you know, bouncing off each other and understanding each other. It's so much fun. There's so much freedom in it. You're completely uninhibited. You're completely free from the chains of, oh, did this person like me? Did you don't care. You're just, you're just madly and deeply enjoying every moment. That is not the same energy as, oh my God, like I'm by myself. Oh my God. Okay. You're by yourself. Okay. What do you want? What do you want the universe to, to, to reflect back to you if that's how you're spending each day? Oh my God, I'm by myself again. Oh my God, someone else just got married. I didn't. Okay. You're right. You're right. Whether you think you can or you think you cannot, you are correct. Okay. So you really want to be, to stop existing in this victim heard of oh my god i'm by myself oh so what i love being by myself i'm amazing you're amazing what would you be thinking and feeling if this person was here that new love it's exhilarating that new love you're like bouncing off the roof it's exciting it's romantic you feel special you feel important you can do all of that for yourself without that person being there but then when they do come it's explosive you're healed, they're healed, because they wouldn't be attracted to you if you weren't. It's a perfect dynamic, and it's everything you could have ever imagine, and, and more, in fact, you couldn't have even imagined it. It's actually better than what you could have imagined. To so be playful with it, like, it's really not that deep. It's really not that deep. Like, stop taking yourself so seriously when you're trying to manifest love and a special person. You are the special person that you're trying to manifest. You are that special, unique, talented, deserving person. So I trust this video helped you manifest. If you have manifested new love, comment down below and help everybody else in the community how you manifested that love and what tips and tricks you would give. And you're worthy, you are loved. I love you and thank you.